So this episode is a little bit different. This is kind of special for, for me and my family because we have a foreign exchange student for a week. Straight from Latvia is our student, Alice. Check this out. See, this is Alice. Hi. Alice, thank you for being here today. Um, so Alice is coming from Latvia. She was supposed to be here in 2020 and the pandemic ruined things for her and her group of students. But she got to come to America for two weeks. Where did you go first? I was first in Washington, D.C. Explored some of the museums, memorials, had lots of fun. And now I'm here in Carlisle, Iowa. Carlisle, Iowa. I bet she didn't think that's where she would end up. But do you like Carlisle, Iowa? Yeah, I do. The people are so nice. I just can't get enough of like contacts and communication. It's so awesome. Yeah, we can't get enough of you either. You've been <laughs> very fun to be here. So thank you for joining us. So Alice, what have been some of the most favorite things you've done so far? Oh, that's a tough question. Like, I've been enjoying everything. Um, I'd say I enjoyed Washington itself, like all the museums that are pretty cool and so modern. Uh, but in Iowa, like, I like learned a new sport, but not learned, I was introduced to softball. That was fun. Um, ate a lot of, lot of tasty food. Probably not very healthy food, huh? Not really healthy, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. So what are some of your impressions of, of Iowa or America in general? What are some things that you expected that are the same or things that may have surprised you? Um, well, about the USA in general, I'd say that people are really open-minded. Everybody's super welcoming and nice, especially in Iowa. It's Iowa nice, that's a real thing. <laughs> I did not know that before, but now I know. Um, about Iowa, well, I didn't know much about it, but now I know all about the cornfield, softball, <laughs> and about the people too. Um, I did expect to eat a lot of fast food and unhealthy snacks, but hey, I'm here for two weeks, so I might as well enjoy everything and uh, gain a couple of pounds. <laughs> I can go back home and uh, start uh, running every day and I'll be fine. That's right. That's, that's the attitude this girl has had since day one, was I am here living in the moment. I'm going to do everything that I could possibly do in the limited time I have. and. That fits right in with our family. Our family is the same way. So it's almost like we just have an extra daughter. It's been a lot of fun. And I'm just sad that we only get to have her for a week. Yeah. Wish it could have been all year. I'm so glad that I got such a nice family. Like, I feel like I belong here. Like, I feel like the fourth daughter for that, them. <laughs> that's good. I'm, I'm really happy because when Bree and I went to Australia, there were so many Australians who welcomed us and took us in and made us feel welcome and uh, part of their families and part of their friendships and and I'm glad that we're able to give that to you and someday we want to come visit you in Latvia. Yeah, for sure. I will come back to USA as well, that's, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, good, good. So the rest of this video is going to be a kind of a summary, um, something that hopefully she can look back on uh, in the future and, and watch and hopefully if you are interested in hosting a foreign exchange student, you can kind of catch a glimpse into what that's like. Uh, maybe you're willing to host somebody too. If you are, I'll have some information down in the comments in the description uh, to where you can contact, trying to get involved with this. Okay, Alice, can you say subscribe to The Wandering Firefighter the right way? She's translated it one way. Google Translate said that I would be the homeless firefighter. Is that right? Uh, not really homeless. Uh, it said abonnei and kleyo yorsha obunzesai kanal. But that sounds like you're homeless. Well, to me it sounds like. I would say abonnei and kleyo yorsha obunzesai kanal on sakoit leads bizi wemem. That's exactly what I would say. So this is great. So here is kind of the video of her experience in Iowa. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Let's watch it. Let's watch it. 
All right, we are going to the airport to pick up our foreign exchange student, Elise. I think that's how you pronounce it. So if it's not, I'm sorry, Elise. If it's a different way, it'll be right next time. So we're really excited to have her. She's from Latvia. She was in Washington for about a week, and now she's gonna be in Iowa. We're gonna show her kind of the heart of America. Right, guys? We have a group of friends to greet her. Bree's at a softball game, and we'll be there later. But for now, we have a group of girls to greet our new foreign exchange student. All right, this is the other group that's waiting for Elise, Addie, Haley, Sarah, Kate. These are all their buddies, so they're excited to meet Elise, too. They got their signs all ready to roll. We're excited to meet her. Okay, I think I see her. There she is. Right. Right there with the black shirt on. Yep. There she is. <laughs> yep, there she is. <laughs> Hi. Yeah. That's her friend Claire. <laughs> so we're here with Alice coaching some ball. The, the poor girl has to sit here in the cold in this tent back here. There she is right there. The poor girl, she's a good sport. She's a, a really good person to be around. So it's been fun, it's been a good experience so far. Okay, first I wanna start this little interview off by saying that she's not trapped in there. This isn't against her will, this is to keep her warm. Yeah, she's fine, see? So if her parents watch this, she's safe. She's just staying warm. All right, uh, are you enjoying America so far? I know you were in Washington and now you're in Iowa. Are you liking it? Yeah, the people out here are so nice. Like, I'm so, I feel so welcome here. So it's good, it's doing like real great. Okay, good. Um, and are you enjoying Iowa? Yeah, Iowa's really nice too. Like, okay. Watching the softball game, learning new rules and uh, yeah. <laughs> understanding what it's like to live in America. Okay, well, we're happy you're with us. Yeah, me too. <laughs> All right. It's our Latvian factory, like Lima, which is like Lima, which means happiness. Cool. So yeah, you can find happiness in chocolate, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> and these can. are these are some like I don't know what to call these. Um, hard candy. Yeah, hard candy. So this sign, it's in Latvian, it's Ugonskrus, which would mean like fire cross. It means like to keep you safe in uh, all kinds of. Uh, environments and uh, situations so um, yeah you can like always keep it with you and it will protect you so this is the sign that alice gave me um, she explained that it was for uh, keeping people safe who are in dangerous situations uh, stuff like that so i'm going to put it in my gear and hopefully keep this here for the rest of my career Got about 11 years left, I think. So, here we go. If I put it in this baggie, with some of my other stuff, and keep it nice and safe. So thank you, Alice. I appreciate that very much. It'll do CPR for us. That is amazing. Yeah. So this thing saves human lives because this this device does it better than we do. Okay. It also lifts their chest back up, so it helps the heart fill up with blood more. Like when we're pushing, we're not lifting their chest up, so it doesn't fill up as much. With this, it pushes down better than we do and it lifts it up. So that way blood enters their heart and you have more to circulate to their brain.
he is nailing it. Button up your jacket. All right, Alice uh, made some Latvian food for us tonight. These take a lot of oil. It's like you fry them almost. It's delicious. We had uh, potato pancakes, right? Yeah. And potato salad. They have a lot of potatoes that they use there. And now what we're gonna do is try something she used to eat when she was a kid. You wanna explain what it was? Yeah, it's like you put on white bread, some sour cream, and you sprinkle a lot of sugar on it. It's like a treat. <laughs> so white bread with sour cream and sugar. We're gonna give this a, a go. Tell me when. Is that enough? Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Wait, that's actually really good. It actually is good. I really like it. It's delicious. Yum. <laughs> I really like it. Mm. Sour cream, sugar, on bread. You heard it on the Wandering Firefighter. <laughs> you heard it here. Straight from Latvia. We're going to give our Eight. ratings. Eight. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. That's good. What's your rating? Do you give it like eleven out of ten? Oh <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go to ten out of ten. You can't change your rating. Just did. <laughs> just change it. The one you find butter. It's my channel. I do what I want. Yeah. All right. So the students from Latvia are participating in the Wildcat Games here in Carlisle. So it's pretty cool. Alice was going to be on Addie Seaman Bree's team, uh, Bree's coaching. They spent the day at the high school and they discovered that they were going to have these Wildcat games. So the students decided to participate as well. So there's a Latvian team in the Wildcat games, which is pretty awesome. So we're going to go see how they're doing. All right, so here we are. They have their car out here. I like that. It's yeah, yeah. So, I saw your buff walk and you're walking up the hill. Intimidating, I like it. So, did you have a good time uh, going to the schools? Yeah. Is it similar to Latvia or is it different? Totally different? All right. Are you guys going to kick butt in the games? Oh, yeah. 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 Intimidation. Look at the look at her eyes. Just look at her eyes. Fierce. This is the the flamingos, right? There's Alice back there. Alice, how was your day? It's good. Good. You having fun being on this team? Yeah. All right. Better than Latvian. Oh, better than a Latvian team. That show them this after they go home. Coming up next is the applesauce dig. This looks like it could get pretty intense. I think from the name applesauce dig, it has to do with digging an applesauce. No, I think you were second, maybe third. When you signed up for this leadership program, did yeah. you think you were gonna go to America to dig through applesauce? No, oh. but like, <laughs> He's gonna be a leader. Did you hear that? That's a perfect answer. You guys dominated at the army crawl. How do you feel? I feel 
They're so beautiful. <laughs> Alice says that if you cross a new bridge, <laughs> when you cross a new bridge in Latvia, you get to make a wish. And this is a new bridge for us, so I'm gonna make a wish. Believe that. We hope you enjoyed the video as much as we've enjoyed having her with us. And for uh, my new Latvian friends, uh, the students who traveled with Alice, I hope you liked the video too. You are the co-stars of this video. Be sure to send me a friend request or something. You always have a friend in Iowa now. So if you ever come back, send me a message. Alice, thank you so much for being the co-host today. Any last thoughts? Anything you want to add before we wrap it up? It's 11 o'clock at night. We're both tired. <laughs> well, it was my pleasure to be in this video. It would be so great to show my family and friends a look back at all these memories. And I will make sure that you have a lot of new Latvian followers. <laughs> all right. That's, all, that's great news. And uh, one of these days, we're going to come visit you at your home. Sounds great. Okay. Thank you. And remember, Die with memories, not dreams. Uh -huh. Uh, what is it? That's a Say it again. Ata. Uh -huh. uh -huh.